Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up alerts, widgets, chatbots, all that great stuff on your Kickstreams. It's not really available on Streamlabs or Stream Elements currently at this time, so you have to jump through a little bit of hoops here to get everything situated, but it is possible and it's really not that hard at all. It's just different than what we've been doing in the past. So without further ado, guys, let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is navigate to botrix.live. This is a bot that's going to handle all of this stuff on your Kickstreams. Head over to botrix.live and then what you're going to want to do is log in with one of your logins here. I'm just going to log in with Twitch because it's easier for me. I've already done it and it's going to bring you to this page where you can kind of link all of your accounts. This is also really useful if you're multi-streaming, but if you're not, it's still going to help you out. So if you're multi-streaming like me, I stream on YouTube, on TikTok, on Twitch, and on Kick, all of these things. So what you're going to do here is log into any of the platforms that you're live streaming on. As you can see right here, if you're just streaming on Kick, you can log in to your Kick right down here. I'm already logged in, so I obviously can't log in again. All I can do is either delete it or mess with the settings. So once you're logged in, we're going to head on over to the Alerts tab. And this is where you're going to set up your alerts. What you're going to do here is mess with all your settings. You could put in your uh, images and your sounds for your follower settings, all that good stuff. Um, gifted subs, subscribes to your channel, raids, tips, bits, all of that good stuff. Make sure you set all of this up. Take some time. Um, you know, you can use some of their stock sounds. Uh, you can use stock images or you can upload your own custom images by clicking this button right here. And once you have that all set up, what you're going to do is you're going to copy this widget URL right at the top. It's very similar to Streamlabs and Stream Elements. You're going to copy this URL and then we're going to head over to OBS. Sorry about that OBS inception right there. It's because I'm recording with OBS currently. And what you're going to do here is this is, let's say this is your stream. You're going to just go down to the plus sign under sources and you're going to click browser and then you're going to just name it kick alerts and hit OK. And then right here is where you're going to paste that URL. And that is going to allow your alerts to be displayed on your stream for your kick stream. So what you can do is add that URL. I'm not going to add it. So we'll leave this little blank OBS URL in there right now. Um, and then you can obviously adjust the size of it by dragging the corners like so uh, position it in the middle of the screen. If you want to do that, you hit transform and then you can do center horizontally. Now it's in the dead center of the screen and then you can lock it. Um, but obviously, if this is my, my alerts panel, this wouldn't be visible right now. It would only pop up when someone follows, subscribes, gifts, subs, anything like that. So that's how you would set up your alerts as far as that goes. Next, let's head back over to Botrix. So there's a lot of cool things we can do with Botrix. Like I said earlier, chatbot. You can have the, the chatbot will automatically be living in your channel. All you have to do is go in your chat and do slash mod space Botrix Live. That will give the, the chatbot moderator status and allow it to do things in your chat. By default, it is already on and you can mess with all these settings and have it, you know, ban certain words, not let people post links. Um, people will automatically level up as they talk in your chat. So it kind of keeps people engaged. It's really nice. It's a good feature to have. Uh, you can set up a loyalty system right here. Uh, you can see these are people from my Kickstream. They have a certain amount of points that they can use to redeem for rewards. But the thing that we want to focus on here is widgets. Let's head over to the widgets section. So you can have a viewer counter displayed on your stream. You can have a follower goal displayed, a subathon, um, a subscriber goal, a bits goal, event labels. Basically, like if someone follows you or gifts a sub or whatever, it'll track those events and keep them up on the screen so people can see them. Um, your chat. If you want to have your streams chat popping up on your screen, like above your camera, you can do that with this option right here. And the thing is, guys, it's actually the same as the alerts. It's super simple. So let's say we wanted our chat to be popping up on our stream. You head over to the chat section right here. It'll give you a little uh, taste of what it looks like right here at the top. You can change the design. If you want to change the default, you'll see it'll change the preview up top. This is what the chat will look like. It'll look like that. Um, and if you want it displayed for only your kick stream, you would obviously just uncheck all of these and it would just display the chat from your kick stream above where your camera or wherever you want it placed in OBS. We'll get to that in a minute. So you can have it hide bot messages like when Botrix says, this user has just leveled up. If you want to check that, it'll hide that. Um, you can enable better TTV emoticons. Um, you have it hide old messages, which I, which I do suggest um, so that it doesn't just take up your entire screen with chat messages. It'll hide them after 10 seconds or something like that. Um, you can hide commands when people type exclamation point uptime or things like that. You can have it hide those. So that those aren't visible on your screen. 
Um, and you can have it show the platform icon. Like I said, this is if you're multi-streaming and people want to see like, oh, this person's over on YouTube talking, this person's on Twitch. Uh, you can have it show the platform icon. And like we did before, it's exactly the same. So what you're going to do is once you have that all set up, you're going to copy the widget URL. We're going to come back over into OBS. We're going to hit the plus sign. We're going to add a browser source and we're going to just name this like kick chat or you can name it restream chat. If you're using restream, whatever it may be, you're going to hit OK and then you're going to input that URL right here. We're going to leave it as this for now again. And then you can, let's say, if you want the chat to be above your camera, you can shrink it down and have it right there. And now your chat is going to pop up above your camera on your stream. Now the same goes for pretty much all of these widgets, guys. I won't enable every single one for you, but I'll just, you know, give you a brief showing of how to do it. The same thing here. If you wanted to set up a follower goal, you'd come into here, you'd set up exactly what it looks like, what your goal actually is, and then you'd copy that URL, add a browser source and OBS. The same thing uh, as we did for the chat and the same thing goes for a viewer counter, um, stuff like that. It's all the same. You're going to copy that widget URL, add a browser source, set it where you want it to go on your stream, and you're all set. It's a little bit different than we've been doing in the past with Streamlabs and Stream Elements, but to be honest, you get to the same spot either way. And I'm sure that we're going to be able to do this within Streamlabs and Stream Elements sometime in the near future because Kick is exploding right now. But anyways, guys, that's how you do it. That's how you set up alerts, widgets, chatbots, and all that good stuff on Kick. It's very simple. If you just follow along this video, you should be able to do it, no problem. But if you have any issues, you know, drop some comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But anyways, guys, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. I'm posting tons of videos lately on how to multi-stream, how to start streaming on Kick because this stuff is actually blowing up and I really do think this is the future of streaming. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with me live, I multi-stream on Twitch, Kick. TikTok and YouTube every single night, Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. There's links to that in the description below this video. But anyways, guys, that's all from me. I want you to keep those hammers up and I'll see you next time. Someone's running up on us right now. Where's this kid? I'm hit too. At the tree. I'm, I'm chasing him. Where the fuck is he? Is he in the bush? Got him, I got him, I got him. I